Alicia High. We're currently in Richmond, Virginia, which is a glorious place to be. I moved here from out of state. Uh, I'm a military kid, uh, so I've sort of been all over, but we moved here when I was 13. My dad got out, out of the military uh, and pursued a job that was actually in Maryland, but he was commuting from Manassas there. So he did this like ridiculous three, four hour drive a day with, you know, the mixing bowl. <laughs> uh, I was born in Florida and my mom had us when we were younger. And then my dad went into the military when he had a couple of kids because, you know, you got to make that rent. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, eventually he got us. And so we started bouncing around with him. And then he made us a promise. Uh, that he wouldn't move us through high school because in the military you move every two or three years but That was the one promise he made us. He knew that high school was really important and that we needed to have a solid base So when you know I hit 13 we were all getting up to that high school age He got out of the military and he kept us in one spot like he promised he genuinely You know did what he could to keep that for us and we've been here ever since like we just I sort of fell in love with it I do consider myself a Virginian at this point like, I don't, even though I'm from Florida, Virginia, I'm a Virginian. Like, what was really difficult about jumping around was that, uh, yeah, every two, like, you're always the new kid every two or three years, and everybody knows children are cruel. So, you know, you get teased at one school, you move to another, you're like, oh, I'll get to start anew, and then you run into the exact same problems, but now you're also the new kid on top of being the awkward kid and everybody's already got their clicks they've known each other for years so like that was the hardest thing was just trying to make friends and get acclimated because as soon as you do get acclimated and make friends you move again and so it was like you get used to it after a point like now I'm really good at packing like I can do it in a day I don't do that whole week you know prepare your boxes and stuff uh, but yeah definitely the hardest part was easily the the leaving friends and trying to make new friends See, we had a family reunion a couple years ago. It was back in high school, and all of my dad's side of the family came down. And it's usually drinking, hanging out, lots of good food, just nothing but good food. And yeah, all the family comes down, and for whatever reason, my cousins think I'm hysterical. I don't know why this is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, uh, we actually have one coming up in like a week that's also again at my dad's house so it's been like eight or so years since it's been at ours and i'm really looking forward to it but it's never not a good time whenever everybody gets together and we get because it's years like some of us don't get to see each other for years and they're in all different parts of the state but uh currently this year it'll be up in haymarket virginia which is about two hours north from here which is not a terrible drive so <laughs> everybody it's, Virginia is very clicky and you can sort of tell where you're from based on how you look a little bit. But it's this ridiculously diverse group of people. Cause yeah, in Nova everybody dresses more high class, like more button down slacks. Cause that's the more office job place. Like it's the more high end, if you will, upper middle class. And then you got the military crowd from Virginia Beach and near the base and of course since they're near the beach also it's more shorts and laid back but then you hit Richmond this weird center and it's just this big collection of people you have the artisans you got the punk movement you got uh, essentially every different ethnicity culture you can walk down the street and find a shop that's related to anything you might want and yeah you got Carytown right there which is just just the whole collection of everything. And that's the one thing uh, for moving around my whole life, Virginia has easily been the most diverse group of people I've met. The last time I went out of state uh, was in 2011 and I went to visit my mom down in Florida. And obviously it's a big beach area so that's the salt water smell and uh, palm trees. It just, whenever I go to a new state, the smell is strangely the most recognizable like without before talking to people like because that's usually the second thing you notice is the difference in how people talk or interact with each other because that definitely like uh, I'll start talking to people and that's uh, one of the first questions I always get is where are you from because you're not from here and they just like immediately know based on how I've interacted with them uh, but yeah before talking to people actually interacting the smell is the first difference that I notice when traveling uh, it depends on your post. Uh, when I worked back for VCU and I was under the VCU Police Department because they sort of, 
we were we worked for VCU, but we were sort of stuck under the police because they didn't fully want to take responsibility. But we also got better training as far as what we were uh, required to learn to be a campus security officer and working in an environment where people are living, like for the dorms. People are going to be a lot more relaxed. They're going to try to get away with things. Like it's the first time they've been away from their parents, so you actually have to be on your P's and Q's and really pay attention to make sure that these kids stay safe the way they're supposed to because you are more likely to act up at home than you would say at work, which was the post I had after I left VCU. I worked at a factory and yeah, people are at work all day, so nobody's really causing any issues. It was a lot more laid back and relaxed. So yeah, you, the security really depends on your post for how much excitement you're gonna see or anything like that. Like when I worked for VCU, it was really exciting, uh, sort of in a negative way, but anytime we had a medical incident like uh, alcohol poisoning, I had a couple diabetic comas, it was unfortunate for the children that had to go through it, but that was always the most exciting time for me at work because I got to do something and I got to help. And a few times I've actually saved somebody's life. So it's sort of a boost to yourself on top of that. It gives you a reason to do your job. And yeah, when you get bored and you're not doing much, you sort of, there's, you feel like there's no reason for you to be there. But yeah, if you, if you can get a good post, like you're really there for a reason and it's good, it's a good place, it's a good thing to do.